What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Plio and today I want to build my very first tier list of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I want to discuss briefly all the different units and how I see them as a whale, including my early thoughts on Vincent Valentine. Without further ado, let's start with Lucia. I think Lucia is bang in the middle. She is clearly A tier. She is, after the latest banner, one of the best support units for fire. She can also do really good fire DPS, really good magical quake DPS. She can do silence, although we don't use those abilities yet for now. She can also heal, single target heal. She has some of the best uh, weapons like Mad Minute. She can break ice. So she has like this ice in peril with Val Eagle. So she's there. She's missing some elements, uh, like more outfits more weapons, but all in all, she's really good at a few elements, not the best, but a really good example of a decent unit. She is, for me, the hottest unit in the game, but that doesn't give her more points. <laughs> Alright, so, A tier. Now, Glenn, this one might be controversial, but I think Glenn is just a C tier. And, okay, let me explain. In the latest event, he has been a key player in the latest crash event, in the latest, in the current ranking event, for example, that is with Tom Berry, that you need water. If you need water, water physical DPS, he's there. He's the king of water DPS, no doubt. But that's it. <laughs> that's it. Like, other than that, all the other different things you can achieve with different units. And if you have Sephidot with the new water bridge, then a really powerful cloud could be better than Glenn. That's my opinion. It will then do as much damage as Glenn, of course. Glenn is always going to do more damage when it comes to water, of course. But in terms of versatility, cloud is like 10 times a million times better. So for me, when it comes to investing on a unit, Glenn is not someone that I will think about investing. I know it's a bit controversial. I know you might disagree, and I, yeah, I understand why. It's just like for me, he's not there. He hasn't gotten any many of it as well. So now Matt, on the other hand, is clearly for me S plus tier without a doubt because after the new limit breaks were introduced, he is just the best defensive healer. He can do, he can remove physical attack down and magical attack down. And lately, the meta is the bosses are gonna mega buff themselves. They will have six stacks of physical attack or eight stacks of physical attack, something crazy. They are about to one shot us. A mat goes pop, he pops the limit break, and then we are back to normal. Then he pops Centipede, physical defense up. He could do physical attack down with the, the one that looks like a guitar. He can break Diamond Seal, which is something quite unique. He's been there. He's been there for Bahamut. He's been there for Crash. He's been there in Ranked. We need him. So, yeah. Because of that, he's just so useful. Then you can have other different DPSs and support units around him. But he is him. He's the healer for me. Now, Juffy. Uh, Juffy for me is another controversial unit because honestly, I hate her in the story. If you know me, you know that I, I never invested in, in Juffy. So, and I don't want to invest in Juffy, but I have to recognize that she is S tier. Uh, and it. Yes, yes, I don't want to say that, but she is, because she's the best Quake DPS, but not only that, now she can also do fantastic fire AoE DPS, she can buff all the party, I think, with that. She, like, every time that she's getting weapons, they are extremely, extremely useful, and she has many, many elements, she has way more elements than Glenn, for example, like, if I need to choose to invest on a unit, I would rather invest in Yuffie, and also, she has, like, a fantastic limit break that can do physical attack up and magical attack up, so, do I hate her? Yes. Do I think she's fantastic? Yes. <laughs> so, that's it, that's my thought, I mean, 
feel, please feel free to disagree. These are only my thoughts. And what I would love to see is that we continue the discussion in the comments so we learn from each other because it's, this is just my personal truth right now. Um, now, Sephiroth is another S unit for me. Um, I would say better than Yuffie. Uh, although although that depends on, on the banners, etc. But in general, he has way more utility and way more options. So he is the best uh, win DPS. He can do physical attack down and magical attack down with Kuya Spirit Blade. One of the best magical DPS is with Protector Blade, um, non elemental magical DPS. Fantastic Ice DPS. Um, now great water support. He is him as well like he is fantastic i'm not putting him on s plus and the reason is other units have even more option in terms of utility and in terms of dps and that other unit is cloud that we will see in a second but before we go into cloud iris she is difficult for me she is uh, between s plus and s tier i would say I would say she is the very first S tier unit, almost S plus. And the reason why I think she is not S plus is because in many, many situations, in most of the situations, at least for now, a mat will be more useful than Iris. I know that if you are an Omega Kraken with all the physical DPS in the world, Iris is going to be your choice because she's going to buff all the party. Everyone is going to hit like a freaking Optimus Prime, like a track. And, and uh, yeah, she she's there. But Matt is way more useful. And especially if you are fighting Crash and the Crash is going to buff himself on, on physical attack, you're going to die. So you need Matt. And if, if the Crash or the boss is going to do physical defense down to 7 ticks or to 8 ticks, slowly and steadily... Matt cool start doing physical defense up, physical defense up with centipede or with syringe sword, syringe weapon. So he could help us survive. Iris could not, even though she has like some really good fire DPS and aero DPS. Yes, for me she's not a plus, not yet. Maybe in the future. Who knows? I would love to see her succeeding and being best, but you know, uh, not being best, but being better. Um, I would love to see Tifa being the best and Vincent, but, you know. <laughs> right, Cloud. Cloud is obviously S plus tier. And it, I, I'm a bit conflicted by this because he is the spoiled kid in the, <laughs> in the classroom. He's getting all the freaking love in the world. And naturally, because he is the main character, of course. But for me, I would love to see more variety. I would love to see other units getting more love, like Nanaki, that we are going to review in a second. For me, there is no question about Cloud, because he has so many outfits, so many options. Even though he doesn't have any elemental breach for now, but he has the DPS. He has the outfits. So, yeah, extremely useful in many situations when you need a DPS. Now, Nanaki is uh, it's extremely difficult, Red 13, because he could be in almost all the different categories, from C to S+, depending on the event and depending on the weapons. In general, I would say that he is a bug in the middle, because he doesn't have many outfits, he cannot produce much damage, but lately he's been getting plenty of the best support weapons. And in the recent meta, you need Elemental Breach, either Wine Breach or Thunder Breach or Water Breach. And if you don't have those, the bosses are going to have a massive shield that you cannot break and they will kill you. That's a full stop. You can have all the DPS in the wall with Cloud or Juffy or whatever, that if you are not breaking the bar, you're going to die. So because of that, I think he is A tier going towards S+. plus. Like, in combination with other units, he will be S or S+. plus. But he's missing a bit more, some more outfits, more DPS. You know, for example, the new Sun R ability that give us more resistance, I think, if I remember correctly, more physical defense, it will be fantastic. It will bump him to perhaps like an S tier. Anyhow, yeah, 
that's my thoughts. Now, buy rating is... Okay, buy rating for me is C to B. So, I would say B tier. And, and the reason is, for quite some time, um, we needed Barrett to clear B70. We needed a soul gun. So there was a time where he was needed to clear content. Um, Glenn was also needed to clear Crash, but Crash is not the same. Crash is aimed at the 0, 0. 0.0 something percent. Now, Barrett also recently got Electro Cannon. He got a really good outfit. He's slowly getting some love. I would love to see him getting even more love. I like him a lot as a character. Um, I started playing with him a lot, but then, yes, for now, he's B tier at most in my book. You might disagree, and please feel free to disagree. Like, don't, don't, don't be afraid to disagree. Like, this is just my opinion. Now, Zack is, hmm, it's another difficult one. I, I would say, even though he's one of the best single target fire DPS, after the latest banner where Juffy and Lucia are getting way more powerful with fire, he is the best thunder DPS now. He's the thunder god. Sack, that is. Um, he can do physical defense down, magical defense down, water bridge. Um, yeah, he might be close. I mean, definitely better than Lucia. Definitely better than. Definitely better than Lucia. So so. Sack and Nanaki are similar in terms of utility in my book because sometimes. Uh, Reser team will be way more useful with like some 3 ATB moves. Other times, Sack will be bringing more stuff, more DPS. Sack, I think, in general, is way more versatile than Reser team, but perhaps not. Uh, yeah, sorry. I think it's S tier. I'm, I'm, yeah. The more I talk about Sack, the more I realize he has more options than Yuffie. For now, he's better than Yuffie on a few things. Um, so I will say S tier, but not as good as Sephiroth in terms of like utility, versatility, etc. Tifa, oh Tifa, man, I would love to see her S plus tier done, mm, but realistically, lately, um, let me explain why I think she is just A tier, okay? And it's a difficult one, okay? I, I really love Tifa. Mm, please don't don't get me wrong, I re really really like her, but. In the meta, in the recent events, we need Elemental Breach, the thing I was saying before. She doesn't have any. None. She can do physical attack down, she can do magical attack down, yes, to a single target though, not to all enemies. She has the Guide Gloves, which is really good for physical non-elemental damage, but now we also have Ceremonial Sword, we have other options, other units have other options. Mm, so she's missing that. I mean, okay, with the bunny gloves, she's also the best magical water DPS. There is that. Fantastic. And she's going to be extremely useful when it comes to Ramu EX2. Similar to Glenn. Like, honestly, Glenn is going to be. Maybe I'm being a bit, a bit unfair with Glenn, but Glenn is going to be extremely useful for Ramu EX2. But then that's it. Then that's it. Then. <laughs> so then, yeah, um, hmm. I would say A tier, for now, and I, uh, with some weight in my heart saying that, okay? I'm not happy about this decision, but I think it's fair to say. Kitesid, um was the latest unit to be added into the game, and I think he deserves almost like a category on its own, which is like a meme category, okay? A meme category because some of the best players were using him um, because he can do the best critical, physical, and elemental DPS when you crit, um, critical damage. And that was really useful for some ranking events. But overall, he's not getting outfits, weapons, options. So I would say he's in the similar category to Glenn, where extremely good at one scenario. Glenn, water, kite seed, um, randomness, <laughs> and, and that's it, okay? So for now, yeah, there's that. But I, I And I actually like Glenn way more than kite, for sure. And I would love to see Glenn getting more love. Glenn has also ultimatic, 
did I say that? He ultimatic is one of the best sub weapons in the game. It's fantastic also for physical and non elemental. That's true. But he's not doing breaches. I don't know. Doesn't have many elements. Yeah, it's a difficult choice. But he's gonna stay at C with um, kite. I'm trying to be a bit strict as well. Now, last one. Vincent freaking Valentine, right? My very, my most loved unit. I I just want him to be the ultimate best. Um, but we know how the game is. is. So let's start with putting him as A tier. And let's discuss something about the game. So all these units are going to be fluctuating around, okay? With the metas, with new banners, like... Juffy is gonna get some more love and sometimes for example right now Glenn is if we just focus on right now right now Glenn is S plus tier because it's, we are in the water element so water is meta and because of that S plus similar to Juffy similar to Lucia and Cloud will go down 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 right but in general overall I would say that this is my tier list so if, if I was going to invest I will invest first on the S plus units rather than on the C units, okay? That's my reasoning. Now, Vincent, he's going to come and he's going to have a extremely difficult time shining over the system units because in all the units, if you play them as your mains, you're going to have a few OV 10 weapons or a, or a few OV 6 weapons or a few OV 3 weapons, a few weapons. With Vincent, we have nothing, zero, zero, zero. We might be given some tickets and stuff, but we need to build him, and that requires an investment. And he's going to have one banner, and then the question is, what is going to be the future? So at the very start, I think he's going to be S tier, because the developers need to make him attractive for new players to catch up with the game and for existing whales to pull on Vincent and for fans of the unit because they want to play with the character that they love. So I think he's, he's going to start as S tier and I would love to see him climbing to an S plus tier in the future. I think he's going to stay relevant, S, plus, S tier, maybe, maybe A tier. But um, but yeah, I don't think <sighs> I don't think I think he will end up being an A tier. That's my prediction, simply because there are just so many units and the cadence of banners lately is becoming way more frequent. But they are still so freaking expensive, <laughs> and and. If you have an unlimited wallet, then, then fair enough. But for the average whale or kraken, it's extremely expensive to pull in all the banner because it's extremely expensive to build all the freaking units in the world. So normally you will be focusing on five or three or two or one unit, uh, if, you, if you like up one unit, or maybe like six or seven. At the end of the day, the game wants you to play with all the different units because each of the units excel at one thing. And then the thing is like some units like Cloud or like Sephiroth, they excel at multiple things. Perhaps they're not the very best, but they have more options, right? So I think Vincent is gonna stay as A. Um, and looking at my tier list, I see plenty of people at the top. So perhaps I need to be a bit more strict and add one more category so that it will be a bit more spread. Perhaps if we added one more category, S tier it will be only for Aerith. Maybe Aerith and Sephiroth at most. And then Sack and Yuffie will be on a different category by their own. From the A category, maybe Red will stay alone. And then all these three will go down. B will go down. So if we add two categories more, you know, it will be two at the top still, two after that, another two after that, one in the middle, three after that, one and two. Does that make sense? What would be your what would be your tier list? What would you more or less agree with what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and what are your thoughts on Vincent? Do you think he's going to be 
S plus tier mass pool. I, I don't know. Let's see. Nothing is mass pool, and, and well, some of the things are in a way mass pool in the sense that they are extremely useful for your account. So in that sense, some things it's easier said mass pool than extremely useful for your account because if you don't pull on it, you're gonna miss on so much power for the next six months, right? So that's what I want to say. So those are my thoughts. What do you think? Um, yeah, and this is the my very first tier list. If you want to see more of this, I'm really happy to chat about the game. So please, let's continue the discussion in the comments. Let's chat so we can learn from each other. My name is Plio. I'll see you next time. Cheerios! Bye 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 bye!